Smooth is not, not a word I would use to describe being a lady startup. The words I'd use would probably be challenging, exciting, exhilarating. If you're doing it right, being an entrepreneur is probably gonna be like this. Hopefully, it's, you're gonna go up, ultimately, is gonna be the trajectory. My name's Mia Friedman. I am the co-founder and creative director of the Mamma Mia Women's Media Company. Mamma Mia is the only women's media company in Australia and we have a core purpose which is to make the world a better place for women and girls and we do that by making content. We do written articles, we make videos and we make a lot of podcasts. We've got about 27 shows and we are the biggest women's podcast network in the world. We try to engage with women. We try to make them feel seen and heard and understood and like their opinion matters. Being the co-founder and running a media company with my husband as I do, I think what's so exciting about it is how we are able to rewrite the rules. Like all the other media companies are owned by massive corporations, usually run by blokes. Being able to be the change that you want in the world is incredibly um, fulfilling, I suppose. I think, like most 15 year old girls, I was a mix of being wildly overconfident and deeply insecure. I was hungry to get into the world. I felt like I was very grown up already, and in some ways I was, but in other ways I look back now and I go, wow, there was a lot that I still had to learn. I was absolutely mad about magazines, I remember that, because there was no other form of women's media or girls' media when I was 15, so I devoured them. I remember thinking, wow, imagine being able to work at one of these places, that was my dream. And then I started a degree, a communications degree, and didn't really love it and applied for work experience at Clio magazine, which is my favourite magazine. At the end of the time that I had to do work experience, I just kept coming in. So I guess you could call it an unpaid, unpaid work experience or maybe some light stalking. And then I was offered an entry level job at Clio and I never looked back. So I stayed at Clio and worked my way up for about five years. Then I got the job of editing Cosmopolitan, which was in the same company. I stayed editing Cosmo for about the next seven years. And then I became the editor-in-chief across all the women's magazines, like Cosmo, Clio and Jolly. I had a couple of kids in that time and decided it was time to go, that I'd done everything I could at magazines and I knew that the the tide was turning. It was online is where I wanted to be. I wanted to stay in women's media and I wanted to keep making content for women, with women. And so I started Mamma Mia in my lounge room and we've grown it to now we've got about 85 staff and we reach about 5 million women every month. If you've got a burning idea, Give it a go. Follow Lady Startups on Instagram because there are so many different stories of girls and women with wildly different business ideas. You want to gather as much information as you can before you start your thing. Don't be afraid to fail. Like, don't be afraid to fail. I've failed so many times. There's no entrepreneur who hasn't. If you're not failing sometimes, you're not doing anything. There's the expression fail fast. You'll only be better again and again.